Okay. Good evening, everybody. I know it's early. I'm about an hour earlier than usual, but I just locked up to church, and I'm tired. So uh, I figured we go ahead and do the video tonight and uh, say good night to everybody uh, because I'm going to go rest. Uh, so I'm sitting next to one of my spiritual fathers, St. John Paul II, uh, so I think it'll be good to do that. So I'm very grateful to the uh, Father's Day uh, salutations I received. I was in my car a couple of hours ago driving on the LIE and my phone rang and I called it up and I go, hello, and then I hear a giggle and I'm like, hello, and then I hear a bunch of giggles. And the next thing you know, I heard about 40 nuns singing to me. So uh, the community, except for the six who are in quarantine, uh, serenaded me two songs for Father's Day. Uh, so it was real great to hear that and, uh, they were, and I just kept laughing, they kept laughing. And then uh, I parked the car, and as I parked my car, my phone rang again, and it was a video call from the six sisters who are with us who are now in quarantine, and they showed me the room they're in quarantine, and they sang me a Father's Day song, and we talked for a little bit, and how their trip went and stuff like that, and each and every one said they missed me and loved me. So it was a really great blessing to get that on Father's Day, as well as um, my godchildren, my spiritual children, and from the parishioners, so I'm very grateful for that. So shout out to some spiritual fathers in my life, Father Marius Koch, who is on Facebook these days since the COVID. He's been a real spiritual father to me for 13 years now, 13 years. And Father Monsignor Thomas Caserter, who was a real big father to me all of my seminary, my early as a priesthood. So I'm grateful for these great priests that have been part of my life and show me what it means to be a father. So uh, good news is that the parish office will be open starting tomorrow. So we're gonna be open just Monday for Friday from nine to five to start. Uh, one person will be working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and another person will work Thursday and Friday. We're going to stay closed on weekends and evenings for now until I guess we get to phase three or four, whatever we are at, until we're back full operation. All right, so we want to keep that curve flattened and so be careful. This minor church remains open this week, uh, Monday through Saturday from 12 to 4, next Sunday as well from 2 to 6. And on Monday, June 29th, we start public mass at 8 30 a.m. in the morning and so forth and then we'll have the spanish mass that friday and it's fourth of july weekend but that'll be our first weekend of public mass and it'll be a letter going out this week with more information all right so slowly but surely we come back to church hope many of you will be able to come back if you're able to and um well, let's just pray for all the dads out there i pray that they may be empowered by the power of the holy spirit remain faithful to their call and those who have been absent may be awakened to the great gift of being given to being called fathers so let's pray for all the dads by saying, Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forget those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed Virgin, may help the Christians pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Good night, God bless. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.